Uh, hey guys, uh, welcome back. Um, about to head over to the gym, which is right here. <laughs> uh, want to do a quick video on a topic called redirecting uh, your success through communication, through networking. And um, I don't mean the conventional approach to uh, connecting with people and you know, I feel like a lot of people who are starting up are totally undervaluing collaborations. They're totally undervaluing what other people have to offer. And I'm not just speaking in terms, of, not just of collaborations, of networking, of maybe finding a mentor, of getting a second opinion, going on to that LinkedIn face, uh, link that LinkedIn group to get an opinion about you know your your business direction, getting you know getting more insight. It's really about it's about giving back within these relationships and these these friendships. That, that you're creating, and um, I mean, I'll just give you an example. Um, personally, uh, I'm a very intimate person, and you know, if anybody who's watching this actually knows me on a on the micro level, on the level of my day to day, knowing you know, having a conversation with me, um, I don't operate with the same kind of U.S. business um, values uh, when it comes to business, and I don't operate in the same context that most people have when it comes to friends uh i am i'm a very intimate person and i value intimacy within my interpersonal relationships very i'm very self-aware um of this this um of this characteristic that i have and it's of the skill that i have and i call it a skill because um it's really important that people understand um the the awareness you have with somebody else, the 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 actual energy you, that you share with somebody as you're as you're moving forward in your own life, right? So, I mean, how does this pertain to you in in your life? Um, to to be successful in general, that I'm finding, and I've known this for you know a very long time, but you know it's a matter of putting it into to practice. You have to connect with people in a very intimate way, which is something that comes naturally to me. So I had taken that and I had utilized that in business back when I was, you know, 17, 16, 18, getting into sales. And I realized that up until, you know, I was really trying to make a difference and impact in my later sales years, I realized that I was just never going to have those long-term relationships that I wanted uh, with, with, uh, with, the, with the clients that I had with the customers that I had selling phones or selling cars. Um, so it feels amazing now for me to sit down with the client, you know, for maybe an hour or two, talk about, you know, life, talk about something, you know, before we talk about business, right? I love, I love just getting to know people, what they want to do on a, on a macro level and then who they are on a micro because, um, if, if, you know, if our, if our business is going to work for them, I need to clearly understand, uh, their, you know, that he or she's or their business direction. I want to understand who they are, what's important to them, what's not, who they may be able to work with, who can, who they probably will not get along with. Uh, and so that's really important. It's also important to create a really great, uh, fan base. It's really important to really kind of promote that value. Uh, with yourself and kind of extend out into the world, not just to take, but to just just give and give like crazy. Um, it's so important. It, it really is, guys. And uh, that's that's something that I wish you guys could know more of. Um, it's really about giving value. It's really about, you know, and this whole idea of communication, right? Like the more people that you connect yourself with, the more you're likely to be successful because a lot of people... You know, I haven't done the research yet, but I'm pretty sure that it's pretty hard becoming a millionaire. And even more so than that, I think everybody in some shape or form is missing some part of the equation, which I'm really big on. I'm really big on equations in life. So what I have to say to you guys is, um, uh, you know... Where do you think you're falling short of? Do you think you're really great with the communicative aspect? Do you think that you are? Um, do you think you're communi- Do you think you're you're connecting with people? Do you think you're really communicating the value you want to give back? Or are you just trying to take right? 
Are you are you adding to people's lives? Like I, with every person you meet, are you like, how can I help you do what you do with my skills? Are you just giving back? Are you creating that value? Are you creating that exposure? Because that creates exposure, you know. And I'll, I'll give you an example, like a marketing thing that I realized, like in real life, real life marketing, like outside of it, like you know, internet and online. Giving value to people without costing, without it costing them anything, giving value out like that, it creates impressions on an advertising scale. And so you help a small business do a little this and that, and you don't want to charge them, you just want to give back, that creates an impression. If you're creating really valuable content and you're really just giving back to give back, that creates impressions. People don't like feeling like they have to be sold. They don't want to feel like they're being sold. Um, I mean, sales has a bad rep for the wrong reasons, and I feel everybody needs a uh, sales experience. But sales and authenticity and qualitative work goes hand in hand. And, and you know, sales definitely needs intimacy. You can't expedite um, these kinds of processes. You just can't. Um, the whole point of business is to exchange energy in an authentic and real and qualitative way. And, and partly how you do that is communicating, is communicating, you know, the validity of your, of your services or products, right? And uh, making sure you have a really, you give the, the client or customer a really, a really great qualitative customer experience. Um, but part of this is giving back and not, you know, and, and building yourself up if you're in that, if, if you're in that position. And regardless, even if you're in a, a bigger position, you need to just always give back because this is life and this is, you know, whatever you're doing is your livelihood. Uh, it's just, that's just how it works. Um, you know, and uh, I just, I'm seeing a lot of people miss out on opportunities where they could be growing, they could be connecting, not, not with me, but like in general, there's a lot of people out there who say they want it and then they don't or say they, they will want to collab and then they don't. And people who say they want to do the work and then they don't. Meanwhile, you know, there's people who are who are up. They're ready to, to do those things. And they're just looking for other people to do those things. So I would take note of that, guys. And I um, want to make this little video for you. Um, and uh, I hope it helped you out in some way, shape, or form. Keep in touch with all these Facebook Live videos I'll be doing. Uh, I appreciate any kind of uh, input you got. Uh, and again, if reach out to me if you have any... Um, challenges you're facing and I'm just always trying to create impressions give back as best as I can and uh, make the world a better place somehow on the micro so thanks for watching guys I will talk to you later